All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another build video on my Mark 6 GTD. If you are new here, my name is Ty. This is my big turbo two liter CJAA Mark 6 Golf uh, that's making a butt ton of power. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be upgrading the injectors in the CJAA today. So we've got some absolutely gorgeous CJAA Bobby Singh by Turbo TDI injectors that we're gonna be putting in our little two liter that could today. For those of you that are new to the channel, uh, my CJAA has a GTD 2872 by Dark Side Development hiding out here in the back of the, ooh, in the back of the car. It's actually still a little bit hot because I just drove it. We are at the limitation for two things right now. Number one, fueling, and number two, the head studs. Um, or the head bolts, I should say. So I've actually gone ahead and also purchased those. So we do have some ARP head studs that we are going to be installing in our little red nugget here uh, shortly. It's not gonna happen in today's video, even though a lot of people do do the injectors and the head studs at the same time. We are not gonna be doing that today. So we are just gonna be starting with doing the injectors. Um, so we do have a little bit of tuning that we're gonna be doing. Obviously, if you are looking to do this install yourself and you're following this video for install, you're gonna need a couple things. Obviously, all the tools necessary to pull the injectors out. One thing that I will recommend for those of you in a little bit of a more difficult climate, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a diesel injector puller and it's just like a slide hammer that threads into the top of the uh, diesel injector. You're gonna need one of those. And you're gonna need this guy right here. If you can't tell what this is from that far away in the camera, I will show you close up. VCDS, this is an older cable. Um, you're gonna need this because obviously there is a very important part number on the top of these injectors. I don't know if you'll be able to read it up here, but you're gonna to need to code all of these individual numbers into your ECU software in order to get your injectors to run properly. And then also you're gonna to need to do some tuning. I am tuned by Malone or Tunezilla, whichever one you wanna go by. And I have a tune waiting for me already to throw on this guy. And we're gonna do from A to B on this entire process for doing upgraded injectors. So without screwing around that much longer, I'm going to show you guys the install guide that I'm gonna be following because there is a gent that did this on the TDI forums already. So uh, it's a pretty decent write-up for the mechanical install. And then I will show you guys a little bit more in depth of the VCDS stuff, but let's jump right into pulling these injectors out because this is a fairly, I say fairly simple install. This is a little bit of a more messy one because we are going to be dealing obviously with uh, diesel fuel um, and the fuel rails and whatnot. So make sure you got some gloves, make sure you got some rags and let's jump into this. So I'm going to put a link, I'll, uh, I'll, I don't know, I'll put the link like up in the corner or in the description or something for the guy that I'm going to be following for the, um, the instructions if you want to follow it on a forum. Um, and I'll have to scroll back and forth through the video, but if you want to give me that, that view, obviously I'm going to let you do it. So like I said, this is pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing super crazy we got to, got to do here. So, um, obviously if you do have your engine cover, get that out of there. There's going to be a styrofoam piece that sits kind of in the back here. Pull that out as well. They say technically you need to remove your glow plugs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this without pulling the glow plugs out because I uh, generally don't think that is entirely necessary. But we are going to start with uh, disconnecting the injector harnesses. Um, so we're just gonna come in here and obviously these are pressure fit Volkswagen clips. So push into the injector, pull the tab and then they'll pop off. Super, super simple. So you're gonna get those guys out of there. You're gonna also pull off the fuel pressure regulator off of the back side of the rail, that sensor as well. We're just gonna kinda, if you have zap straps, uh, I would go ahead and use those to your full advantage. I think I'm actually gonna do that as well. So the, uh, the guide that I have posted in the description wants you to pull all of these, uh, these other secondary fuel lines that feed the uh, CP3 or CP4 fuel pump, depending on what you have, out of the way but we are not gonna do that because that's just gonna take a lot more time. And we're trying to do things as efficiently as possible. So we're just gonna tuck a rag up in here and we are gonna crack off some fuel lines. And being a Volkswagen, everything is uh, some 17s. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that. 
So we're gonna, I'm gonna crack all these lines off and then I will uh, come back once we are ready to remove them all. All right, so all of our lines are loosened off. Um, obviously mind the orientation of where each line goes. We're just gonna go ahead, pull all these guys out and move these out of the way. And now we have the fuel rails off, so super simple. We now have to uh, get the vacuum lines off of the, or sorry, the return lines off of, uh, uh, we're gonna pull these guys off here. Hopefully you can see what I'm looking at here. I know the camera is a little bit darker than it actually is. Uh, those lines on the back of uh, every injector right there have these little retaining bits. And essentially all they have to do is just kind of be pressed up. And I'm gonna get a pick to do this. Just like that. They just kind of like pop up. And hopefully uh, you guys saw that. I'll do the one next to it as well. Just like that. And I'm just using the pick as a, uh, a little bit of an assist. You don't really need to reef on them too hard. Sometimes they do get a little stuck. So now that I've got this one off, I'm just gonna see, yeah, it's pretty easy to get them to pop off. So once they're off, it's uh, pretty good. Now I'm not reusing these injectors. If you are reusing your injectors for whatever reason and you're not doing upgraded ones and you're watching this video, um, cover your injector holes with, uh, you can use plastic wrap or cellophane or whatever you wanna use just on the tops right here. It's all, all you really need to do. And you can just kind of rubber band them um, in the thing in the write-up that I posted in the description uh, has all of that um, showing you how to just kind of wrap the, uh, wrap the uh, rubber bands, sorry, around the uh, injectors. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a photo of my injector placement because it's, uh, it's important to know what coded injectors are in what cylinder. So and if my flash would work, that would be great. And now we can go ahead and start taking off the plates around the injectors. I'm gonna bring you guys back up here. And obviously these are Allen head bolts. And we're gonna need to be super, super careful not to drop anything into our engine. So rip out your magnetic tray if you've got one. Now is the time to utilize that bad boy. So these are four millimeter Allens. Um, I don't really need to. And we're gonna start pulling some bolts. So um, this isn't really anything worth watching other than uh, watching me crack a couple bolts. So I'm going to either fast forward through all of this for you guys or I'm just not gonna show it. So, so we're gonna just kind of lift that a little bit. Plate to rotate, and there we go. So now we have an exposed injector tie, tie down. I don't know what you want to call it. Anyways, zooming in again, down in here. Down in there, we have 10 mils that we need to take off on either side of the injector. And obviously at this point, this is a very uh, don't fuck this up point, because if you drop uh, anything down uh, down in the engine, uh, this is pretty much game over. Your, uh, your best friend at this point is gonna be one of these bad boys. And obviously for those of you that know, it's a magnet. And then very, very carefully spin these out. And so for the sake of time saving here, I'm gonna pull this injector out just so that I can go through and turn the camera off and not have to show you guys how to pull every single injector out. So like I said, if you're, uh, some might need a slide hammer. Um, I'm having a feeling that I'm probably gonna be one of them. And uh, if that's the case, then I'm kind of screwed because I don't have one. Let's give it a, uh, a whirl here. Here we go. So I did just give it a little bit of a persuasion wiggle. I'm gonna have to rotate the plate out. And there we go. There's one injector out of the car. And you're gonna have to take the, uh, the plates off the bottom as well. Those are important because these hold the uh, injectors in. And then once you have the plate off, 
obviously take the injector seal, just be able to slide it past the rest of the injector. And then you have the injector seal off as well. Super, super simple, nothing crazy. Um, I do have oil on a lot of things that shouldn't have oil on it right now, so I'm gonna quickly. But also uh, for the event that I uh, don't drop <laughs> anything into the combustion chamber, I'm gonna install an injector real quick. All my injectors are already pre-balanced, so. Okay, there's one very important thing I forgot to mention um, when putting the injector back in. So this metal, this metal plate right here, you see how it bows down? If you flip it upside down, you can still put it on the injector, but that's not the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to bow down when you reinstall it. So like a U, not an M, if that makes sense. But yeah, so this is injector number two. I forgot to mention that to you guys on injector number one. And then also the, uh, the torque spec for the injector hold down bolts, I think is about almost eight, foot eight foot pounds. And I just dropped that. Make sure you don't drop that because that's probably super important. All right, so all the injectors are in, torqued down, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start reattaching all the lines and everything. So I've got, I've gone gloveless now, because uh, everything's pretty clean, because it's all fairly new. So we're just gonna kinda... So all of our return lines are on. Start putting some fuel lines back on. And then the torque spec for the lines is 18 to 20 foot pounds. Um, I'm of course just gonna guesstimate because I, uh, I'm an idiot. Get everything de strapped here. So that is, uh, that's all the mechanical stuff done. So it's all installed. Let's do some uh, VCDS coating now, and then uh, load a tune on here and go take this thing for a rip and see how much uh, how much better she feels. Okay, so before we do the VCDS stuff, we're actually gonna go ahead and install the tune. So your tune obviously has to match uh, your injectors and your upgrades and your big turbo and like whatever you've got going on. So we're gonna do that first. Um, so since this is a Malone tune, we do have a Flashzilla, or Toonzilla tune, I should say. Oh, in here. oh my god, turn the radar off before I blow my brains out. And we're on version 15 of the tune for this car. So we'll get this writing, and then we're gonna clean up all our stuff while it writes, because it's probably gonna take about 15 minutes. Okay, so the tune file is done. Writing complete, cool. <clears throat> all right, so let's do some VCDS coding. Okay, for the sake of uh, ease of use, I've switched to the GoPro now because um, it's going to be a little bit easier just to kind of go through everything. Um, so we're in VCDS, obviously, engine, all that. Once you're in engine, you're going to want to go over to long adaptations. Cylinder one is number 71. Hit enter. So that should be the current code for cylinder one. So I took some photos here. So there's cylinder one right there. I don't know if you'll be able to read it on the camera, but that says AA1GB1H. And if we go over to here, AA1GB1H. So we've got photos of all of our new injectors as well. So we're going to go over here and we're going to double check. So here's our first injector. So injector number one's new value is going to be caps lock on here. AS, AS16, here's that G. So now we're gonna go down to cylinder number, I think up, 72. So this is cylinder number two. And then come over here, cylinder number two is our 8T injector. So if we come up over here, cause I do have it written down. So it's ATI, 8TIK2MH. 
So we are going to type that in. So ATK or ATIK to NH. And we're going to go test and test value. We're going to hit save. We're going to hit yes. We're going to read it back. ATIK to NH. Good go. Up to the next one. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's keep that just in case you run into any issues while we take it for a drive. We have to recode anything. But that should be about it. So let's get the TDI outside and let's go for a drive and see if this girl's got any more power. And just in case it decides to explode, let's at least get it on camera here. Took a little bit of crank and I got concerned. Let's make sure we're not leaking. Holy shit, she sounds cammed. Beautiful. It's all right. Let's go for a rip. Sounds rowdy, boys. It sounds rowdy. All right, I gotta put the old uh, the old police detector on. Laser. We're making some boost. She makes some serious fucking boost. Holy shit! <laughs> She's making like forty pounds all the time. Oh my god, okay, hold on, I gotta do a flip. I gotta like roll into this. <laughs> I wonder what the uh, the two-step the two-step sounds like right now. Let's see. <laughs> 